Hi everybody, this is CT Readings and hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages will come up for you guys. I will link a reading underneath the video about the person you're connecting with. So if you're interested, you can check it out. It will be linked underneath the video, but let's see what messages will come up for you. Now, one thing I'm getting for you Sagittarius intuitively is that um, for a lot of you, things are changing, okay? And things are changing in a way that a lot is being revealed to you about people. And I feel like there's a change in how you perceive things, how you talk to people, how you express yourself. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of you are being encouraged to step out of your comfort zone, which is like not a Sagittarius thing actually, but I feel like a lot of you have been very quiet lately. Um, I don't know why I'm just, that is an intuitive message that I'm picking up on that. Um, let me know if it is correct because I feel like a lot of you have been very quiet and a lot of you have not been feeling like yourself lately. Um, I don't know why is that but another thing i get for you guys is that your intuition is heightened your feelings and everything you know you may be feeling everything very intensely um but this is the time for you to manifest okay this is a time for you to get out of your comfort zone okay Because to me, it looks like it's about how you express yourself. What is your expression? And um, a lot of you are going about things in a very subtle, subtle way now because sometimes you may feel like what you're feeling is too intense. Like there's a very, um, there's a very intense feeling that you have about something. Let's see though. So that was the intuitive part. What do we have for Sagittarius? The love call. Someone expresses love thinking of you and letting you know. Somebody's going to be calling you, texting you pretty soon. Yeah, some of you might even be talking to a new person. Even if it's a past person, I don't know, but photographed it. There's somebody who looks at your photos. Maybe they watch you on social media. Okay, this person misses you. For some of you, you could even be, you know, maybe there's online dating involved. Twin flames, man. Even, you know, the energies in these cards, the energies are very intense. Um... Sagittarius okay a lot of you could also be thinking about investing money okay or building a firm foundation for yourself But another thing I get here is that um, Sagittarius, some of you need to trust your feelings, okay, because there could be intuitive um, messages that you're getting, but a lot of you are not letting it come to the surface. Some of you are suppressing the, your feelings because, oh my goodness, this reading is all, already four minutes and I haven't picked any tarot messages, but I feel like I can do your whole reading based off of what I'm picking up on intuitively. But I really feel like, you know, because things have been very intense for you, some of you feel like it's pointless to express yourself, which is not true, okay? Just saying. Look at that, three of wands reverse. You're turning your back to some three of, look at that. A lot of you felt very intense emotions towards a situation where you felt like you were constantly left waiting, hanging on to something that is not really going anywhere, okay? 
um, but the, you know whatever broke your heart kind of encouraged you to look at yourself in a different way to cherish yourself to love yourself um, you know a lot of you are making peace with your memories with this person there is really somebody you think about often but you're also telling your oh man there's a lot of masculine energy in this reading we have the devil with the page of pentacles here there is like that desire to start something um sagittarius okay a lot of you are in that action mode or will be okay now you have the queen and the king of pentacles together in your reading which can represent a divine counterpart energy but the king of pentacles is um the masculine part of it so what you're thinking what you're wanting to achieve you have to take action towards it as well on the other hand this is like i said this is representing a relationship a lot of you are very focused on your home situation okay some of you are in a relationship or you have a child that you're very focused on um when it comes to your relationship with a person there is definitely you know you trying to think more logically about the situation because um i don't know you're trying to think more logically about it because you feel like this is something you do not want to repeat, okay? This ending or this situation has been painful for you, but you're recognizing that, you know, there are differences between you and this person and something that cannot be fixed. So a lot of you are trying to focus on other things. There's, there's you know, in the time to come, there will be a lot of focus on your work, on your financial stability. What is the tower about? Empress growth expansion joy so i feel like you know what whatever it was sagittarius especially if it you know if it was a if it was a relationship that really shook you to the core it was supposed to help you realize your worth okay because i definitely feel like there was a runner chaser dynamic here okay that you're healing from for a lot of you, you know, this lunar eclipse has really encouraged you to heal certain parts of yourself that you would ignore, okay? Yeah, I, I'm really getting that, especially with that, you know, um, where was that? That devil that I saw, I'm seeing that maybe this relationship in the past was karmic, okay? However, 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 this is where things take a turn. Because I feel like the more you're confident, the more you're focused on, okay, these are my values, these are my standards, this is my self-worth. The more you're focused on that and the more you're clear about things because moving towards the future, you have some sort of a new beginning with the Ace of Swords. This is a new start. This is a new beginning, okay? This is a new idea. But you, you got to be willing to explore it because where it is taking you is that twin flame energy or that love call photograph. There's definitely a divine couple here that I see in your reading. Um, but this is an opportunity that you need to explore or you should be ready to explore. Okay. I also feel like you have a secret admirer. Like I said before, there's somebody who looks at your photos. There's somebody who watches you and stuff. Uh, for a lot of you, your focus is on your self-love, yourself, you know. Some of you also have regrets um, from the past, you know. Some of you feel like you put in more effort in a relationship than you should have, okay. And you, you feel like it was, it was all in vain. But for a lot of you, there's a risk that you may need to take or there's a new opportunity that you may need to take in the future because you have the knight of swords energy what is the knight of, uh, knight of swords about eight of wands 
let me tell you, um, Sagittarius, Eight of Pentacles, there's going to be lots of changes, A, in your work situation, and B, I'm also seeing that there is, um, there's lots of communication coming for you, okay? And there's a new beginning. But how will you really embrace this new beginning or a new start if you're so stuck on the past? Okay. I definitely see something new on the horizon for you. And even, you know, when it comes to your work and seeing new opportunities. Look at that. There is somebody who really watches you, stalks you with that page of swords energy. Tell me more about um, Sagittarius' advice. There's a lot of masculine vibe here in your reading. Like I said before, some of you are attracting your divine masculine. And if you're already like divine masculine is like, it's not a male. Okay, divine masculine and divine feminine. These are your energies. So for a lot of you, there's there, you know, this reading is telling you to take action towards something. However, for, yeah, look at that. You have the temperance and the five of swords. There is something with the world card that you need to leave behind, especially with the four of pentacles and the six of swords. This talks about a transition, but are you willing to release resistance? Magician, you're manifesting all of this. Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Um, there's a lot of thought about should I invest in this or should I not? Some of you are planning to buy a home or change your home. When, and if that is not the case, you're thinking about, you know, a change in your career, perhaps, you know, something that brings more stability and balance in your life. So in the time to come, your focus is going to be a lot about bringing balance into your life. And you have the Five of Cups here. So this is sadness, remorse, guilt from the past um tell me more about it higher front yeah this is in regards to a relationship but this is in regards to a relationship that is already a lost cause okay ace of cups a new beginning let me tell you things are about to change for you you know you've been feeling you you, you have been feeling intense but again, this is preparing you for something and this reading is definitely, you know, pushing you to take action towards something that has been on your mind. When I look at it uh, relationship wise, I definitely feel like you're attracting somebody and you have a secret admirer who watches you. That's it, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I will link a reading about your person underneath the video if you're interested. Otherwise, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Take care and bye-bye.